Has this ever happened to you? You need to insert a previously used image, icon, or GIF file into a new presentation or infographic, but you forgot where you stored them. If you're a prolific content creator in need of a way to organize and manage your media assets, we have good news for you. Visme is a leading online presentation and infographic tool that now offers a built-in media manager that allows you to store all your images, icons, and GIF files in one place. Do you need to replace one image used in several different projects but don't have time to do it manually? Simple, the new Media Manager now allows you to do it once and see the changes across all your projects. In this short tutorial, we're going to show you how you can make use of this new feature. So the first step to creating a central repository for all your media assets is uploading your images. To do so, simply click on the images icon found on the toolbar on the left side of your screen right here. And then you can choose the file that you want to upload. So I go to Upload Image, I click on this button at the top left of my screen, and then I search for the image that I want to insert. So if I already have the image saved on my desktop or on my hard drive, all I have to do is locate it and insert it. So if we go to Saved Images, and I try to find the image that I want to insert here, um, so let's say I want to insert this graph right here. So once I go to the My Library button, which is the Media Library, I click on it and I see that the image is already automatically saved into my Media Manager. So all I have to do to access my media assets when I'm not on my local computer is simply upload them and then I can access them within the Media Manager and I don't have to save them in several different places to be able to use this asset. So to also make it easier to locate just the right image in the future, what you want to do once you've inserted your image file is rename it within the Media Library. So you can just go to the Media Library, click on the hamburger menu to the bottom left of the thumbnail, and then click on Rename. And here you'll, you can insert a more appropriate name that will help you locate it in the future. For example, chart conversion rate. And that's how you rename it. And if you go to the media function, search function, you type in chart and then it comes up. So that's just one way to locate your media assets in the future. Now, if you want to create labels or tags for your images, you can also do that within the media manager and we go here to the tab labels and we can apply any label to this so for example i can apply the label chart or a label different from the name so let's say data visualization is one label or i can add another one um, for example uh, let's say conversion rate chart So you can add any number of labels to this so you can easily find it in the future. So we see that if we go back to the search function and we type in um, what we just put in the label data visualization, we see the chart come up. So this is another way that we can easily find our assets in the future. Something else that the Media Manager allows you to do is organize your files into folders. So all you have to do to categorize your assets is create a new folder by going to this button here on the left side of your screen and you see here all the different folders that we have. So to create a new folder all you have to do is click on this button here at the bottom left of your screen and just type in a name. So let's say I want to put, um, I want to create a project folder and I just put in the name and there it is right here at the bottom. Something that's really useful that the Media Manager allows you to do is replace images across several different projects. So this comes in handy, for example, when you've replaced one image and let's say you have a logo or some other image that you've touched up. And instead of manually replacing the same image across several different projects, going into each one and changing each of the files, all you have to do is simply locate the image within the Media Manager one time and then replace it and you'll see the changes across all the different projects. So to see how this is done, all you have to do is go back to the thumbnail and click on the hamburger menu and then you see this option here called replace. So when you click on replace, um, there's a message that comes up to confirm if you really want to do this because when you change the image, it's going to be changed across all your different projects. So you don't want to do this by mistake. Um, so I press OK and 
what comes up now is the option to find the image that will replace that one. So let's say I want to replace my chart with any other image I have here. So let's say this GIF file. Um, I replace it with that and once that's processed you'll see inside the project that um, it's actually replaced in all the different places that it was used. Um, in this case it's only used in this one project but let's say I used it in several different projects you'll see the changes across all those projects. So you see here it's been already replaced. Finally, if you want to view image details such as the date it was created, who created it, and when it was last modified, you can do that within the Media Manager. If you see here, I've switched to list mode by simply clicking on this button here. And within you can see, like I said, when it was created and who created it, the dimensions and the file size. And you can also easily go into the different options by clicking on this hamburger menu at the end of the of the screen. So this is how you can make use of the Media Manager to quickly find your assets in the future, organize them, and replace them across all your different files. So stay tuned for more tips and hacks which we'll be rolling out in the future. Thank you.